Hey everyone, welcome back to Undertale. Alright, let's dig in. We're going we're back at home with Toriel. It's nice. It's so nice. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate our arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I'll hold off the snail pie for tonight. Oh god. Here, I have another surprise for you. Oh, what is it? This is it. That's it. Oh. <laughs> a room of your own. I hope you like it. <sighs> Truffle my hair and stuff. Nice, it's nice. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. You have seen this type of plant before, but don't know its name. Toriel Small Chair. Its name is Cheriel. <laughs> it's Toriel's a diary. Read a circled passage? Kind of invading your privacy. I'm not a nice person. I'll deal with it. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. All right, then. The passage, the rest of the page, is filled with jokes of the similar caliber. Similar caliber. It's nice. It's real nice. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowery plants with brown and oblong sea pods. You know, know more co commonly as water sausages. <laughs> you peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. <laughs> There's so much to this game, I love it. Inside the drawer, you find flower seeds and some broken canyons. Crayons. Canyons. It's you! It's me. Oh, it's a water sausage. Hey, I remember the name. That's cool. That's what I love about, love about this game so much. It's like, it actually remembers things that you learned earlier. And the characters remember things that you have done earlier. Look at these cool toys! They don't interest you at all. Okay? <laughs> An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Damn. A box of kit shoes in disparity of sizes. I don't know how to read. Got it. Cinnamon pie. I remembered. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Thanks, Dario. <laughs> Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 2001X. Got it. Oh, hey, Toria. I'll talk to you in a minute. What's up here? For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar on the fridge. No brand, no brand, okay. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters from Gingerbread Monsters. Oh, cool. The size of the pie intimidates you. You too much for you to eat it. You should be full of determination, though. The stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. What? Oh, Toriel. Up already, I, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite hugging spot. Oh, bug hunting spot. Oh, I prefer hugging. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. 
This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to become a teacher. That's nice. Actually, perhaps this isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Aw, I'm glad to live here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? I want to go home. <laughs> what? This? This is your home now. It's not... Uh, would you like to hear more about this book I read? It is called 70 Use, 72 Uses for Snails. No, not really. I'm good. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Like me. Fun fact, I flip my digestive system. Wait, I haven't yet, because I don't want sure. <laughs> I have to do something. Stay here. No, 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 don't run away. Let me cheat one down here, I believe. That sounds not intimidating or anything. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No, no you're not! <laughs> one will ever, no one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. <sighs> I, I, I want to go home. I'm not going to go upstairs. I'm a naughty child. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you not understand? Go to your room. I'm sorry mom, I can't do that. Do not try to stop me, this is your final warning. I'm not good with warnings, I just keep going, I don't listen. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You're just a l like the others. There is only one solution. Prove yourself. Prove yourself to me that you are strong enough to survive. Wait. Why are you looking, me looking at me like that? Like you've seen a ghost. Do you know something that I do not know? No. This is impossible. It's because I reset my save file. Nope. I'm not gonna touch you, Mom. I'm not gonna hurt you. There we go. Tense. Ow! I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna swear. I'm not gonna swear this whole video. Got it? Got it? Yep. Ha ha ha! No. Yeah, question mark. Question. Question that mark. Yeah. Ow, you. Not gonna swear. Not gonna swear. You guys expect it, but I'm not going to. Frick. It's a frick. Toriel looks through you. Attack or run away? Neither. I uh, fucked there. Damn it! Fuck! Sorry. Toriel is acting aloof. What are you proving this way? I'm proving that I'm a loving person and you don't need to kill me. Balls. It's not a square word. It's only bouncy balls. Burbs. I just read just. I don't got a lot of health! I don't got a lot of health! Help, Mom! Wait, Mom's trying to kill me. Stop! Oh, tutorial. Tutorial prepares a magic attack. Okay, great. Stop looking at me that way! Tutorial looks good. Go away! Oh, 
tutorials I can move. Ha! Huh. I like how her face facial expressions change. She's like actually responding to what I'm doing in the game. Well, I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know you would've, I totally believe you would. I know we don't do... I know we do not have much, but... I don't have much. We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. No. Haha. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped on you. I know I would be happy, I swear, Torio. It's just, you know, family and all that. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right up. No, sorry. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. Aw, thanks, Mom. If you truly wish to leave the, the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. But what if I want to come back? Bring it in, guys. Bring it in. this. <laughs> you miss her? You miss that bitch? <sighs> Goodbye, my child. My mom. Bye. She gonna wave? No. Could have waved. I'm gonna miss her. I'm already, I already actually miss her. The feels, man. The feels. <sighs> Tugging on the heartstring. Pretty freaking quiet. Nothing. Hi. Oh, okay, Hunterdale. That's the game we're playing if you're curious. By Toby Fox. Oh, thank you, Toby Fox, for this beautiful creation we like to call a game. Okay, now we're outside. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. People watch me cheat. Human. <laughs> hey there. Hey, the old whoopee cushion of the hand trick. Oh, wait a second. Have you heard it before or something? You turned around before I said to. Weird. Whatever. You're a human, right? Nice sounds. Sounds a skeleton. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for his voice actually, so kind of deal with it. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. 
Now, brother, virus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think I hit that him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right. Through. My bro made the bar too wide to stop anybody. Quick! I'd be on that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> Whoa, that's conveniently shaped. Sup, bro. You know what? Sup, brother? It's been eight days, and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your state. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look at it? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! Must be the one! I will capture a human! Then, I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve! Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the way of God! People will ask to be my friend! Oh, dear friend! I'll be the shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe the lamp will help you. Sans! You are not helping these, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've got tunnel work to do today. Uh, skeleton. <laughs> Anyways. Sans! Come on. You're smiling. I am, and I hate it. Sorry. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much to get recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. <laughs> Ugh. I'll pretend, I'll attend to my puzzles. As your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. You ought to keep, get going. He might come back and... And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. <laughs> That's awesome. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there's lots of bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Alright. Rocks. Got it. Actually, hey, it's a bother you, but can you do me one favor? I was thinking my brother's skin kind of down there. He's never been seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. No problem, but not papyrus sans. <laughs> All right, you see? The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. All right, guys, I'm gonna call it for that episode. Signing off, Brando Mando here. Keep her easy.